But first, U.S. defense officials confirming another major military victory for Ukraine, telling News Nation that the Moskva, the flagship of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, sank after being struck by two Ukrainian Neptune missiles. But today, that's leading to another concern. Were there nuclear weapons on board that are now at the bottom of the Black Sea? Correspondent Tom Negevin is following this story out of New York. And Tom, the CIA director has also been talking about Russia and nuclear weapons. What has he said today? Well, William Burns raising an issue, Nicole, it's been on the minds of Western military analysts for much of the past 50 days of conflict in Ukraine, whether Russian defeats there. And there have been a bunch of them, surprising ones, too, whether those defeats will drive the Kremlin to use tactical or battlefield nuclear weapons. A Soviet-era guided missile cruiser seen here in file video, now at the bottom of the sea. Satellite images show the Moskva not long before she was sunk, struck by two Ukrainian Neptune missiles, a senior defense official tells News Nation, about 60 nautical miles south of Odessa. According to the Kremlin, ammunition on board caught fire, sinking the flagship of Russia's Black Sea fleet before she could get back to port. Russia says her crew of around 500 was evacuated. Tonight, despite unconfirmed reports the Moskva carried a small number of nuclear weapons, U.S. officials do not believe any were on board. Much of my gray hair uh, comes from dealing with Vladimir Putin's Russia. CIA Director William Burns speaking at Georgia Tech, saying the agency is very focused on the potential Russian nuclear threat in Ukraine. Tonight, growing certainty in the West that Moscow has adopted an escalate to de-escalate nuclear strategy after a series of surprise Ukrainian wins on the battlefield. In short, a strategy that would sanction limited use of nuclear weapons to shut Ukraine's military down and deter NATO intervention. Would you like to just comment on that kind of risk assessment and what, what the agency is thinking? Given the potential desperation of uh, President Putin and the Russian leadership, given the setbacks that they've faced so far militarily, um, none of us can take lightly um, the threat posed by a potential resort to, to tactical nuclear weapons or low-yield nuclear weapons. And Nicole, just to put that in context, even what are referred to as tactical battlefield or low yield nuclear weapons would be deployed with devastating effect if deployed, devastating effect in Ukraine, for Europe, for planet Earth. Uh, Director Burns saying it's a long shot, we hope, but a potential issue of threats that it would be irresponsible to ignore. Yeah, devastating indeed. All right, Tom, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.